Hey, hey, Jakar Lewis here, and I'm the author of the Kisses Series T7 Math Edition. And today we're going to talk about everything you guys can expect to see on the math portion of the T's exam. I know how stressful and how frustrating it can be when you just don't know what to expect. But today I'm going to give you guys all the tips and tricks and secrets for every topic that you can expect to see on your exam. So first things first, just to give you guys an idea of the type of math that you're going to see or the level of math you're going to see, the math for the T's exam is primarily based around middle school mathematics. So based on books that I've written for the middle school level, this primarily falls in the seventh grade realm, sixth grade, eighth grade, but primarily seventh grade mathematics is what I got based on the content that you guys need to know. So it definitely gives you an idea of where the topics and levels of difficulty are going to fall. So before we get into the actual breakdown of topics, let's take a look at the math section overall in general. So for this particular section, you guys are going to have to answer 38 questions in 57 minutes. There is going to be a four function calculator included. It's actually built into the exam and the calculator does include a percent sign as well as a square root function. And I see that's something that people debate about all the time, but it's definitely given to you guys. So you don't have to worry about that. Out of the 38 questions that you actually answer, only 34 of those are going to be scored so the four questions that aren't scored are considered like test questions they use those for future version of the test but there's no way to determine which of the questions are going to be omitted so you always want to make sure that you answer all of the questions um, because you are not penalized for wrong answers all right, now it's time to get your pencil and your paper out because this is when we're going to talk about specifically what you need to know for the math portion of the T's exam. So the math section is going to be broken up into two main components. We have numbers and algebra, which accounts for 18 of the questions that are scored. And then we have measurement and data, which accounts for 16 of your questions that are scored. So I'm going to go through and tell you guys everything to expect for those two major sections. So again, have your pen and your pencil and your paper ready so you'll know exactly what to prepare for and everything that I'm mentioning is actually included in my top rated workbook so be sure to grab your copy today so when we take a look at the numbers and algebra section there are going to be 10 actual topics that fall under that umbrella of topics so the first thing you need to know to how to do is to estimate and round so you have to be able to round whole numbers as well as decimals so with your whole numbers you want to know like ones tens hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousands, and so on. And then also with decimals, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens, thousands, hundreds, thousands. So basically just make sure you guys are familiar with the place value chart and understanding how to round. Um, you also have to know how to convert between fractions, decimals, and percent. So with all of those conversions, that's six different ways you have to know how to do it, frontwards and backwards. And then you also are gonna have to know how to compare and order rational numbers. And all that means is, if they give you fractions, decimals, percents, or square roots all in one space, you have to be able to put them in order from least to greatest, greatest to least, um, decide which is the largest value in the group, the smallest value in the group, and of course that piggybacks off the previous skill. You're also going to have to have an understanding of ratios, proportions, and percentages. Um, primarily in word problem form, you're going to have to understand that particular skill of how to solve problems involving ratios, understanding how to identify, you know, a ratio or an equivalent ratio or a proportion, miss, you know, a missing value. Then we have percent proportions. We have tax, tip, and discount. You have percent markup, percent markdown, so many different ways that those particular topics can be presented to you. And the good thing is they're very similar in terms of how you actually solve them. So you want to make sure that you're learning and practicing them together. And in my book, they're actually grouped together in the same cluster based on how similar they are in terms of solving. So again, you have to know how to solve problems with ratios, problems with proportions, as well as problems with percentages um, for this exam. And within those topics, there are definitely different ways that they can present it to you and you're expected to know how to solve as well. The last batch of topics that you guys have to know include fractions. So I know how much you guys love dealing with fractions. You're going to have to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions as well as mixed numbers. An extension of that topic is going to involve word problems with rational numbers. So you need to make sure that you can solve word problems that involve fractions, um, decimals, percentages, square roots any of those things but the good thing is in terms of difficulty you only need to know how to add subtract multiply or divide numbers when they're in that form um you guys also are going to have to be able to translate 
sentences into expressions, equations, and inequalities. So if they give you a sentence, you have to be able to translate it based on the operations that you see. And finally, the last topic is solving equations in one variable. So one big misconception that I see is that people have the assumption that you have to solve systems of equations or equations with X's and Y's and Z's and you don't. Literally, you only need to know how to solve an equation with one variable. And that's not too bad if you ask me. Let's take a look at measurement and data, which accounts for 16 of the questions on the math section of the T's test. So the good thing is only five topics fall under measurement and data. So super quick and easy and simple and to the point. So the first thing that you guys have to know how to do is convert within and between systems. So convergence between systems and when you go from one unit to the next, such as from miles to kilometers or ounces to pounds and convergence within a system are gonna be like from kilometers to meters, meters to centimeters. So you for sure have to know how to do your convergence. You guys also have to be able to explain the relationship between two variables. So we talk about like independent variable, dependent variable, constants, and we talk about like any type of correlation, like positive correlation, negative correlation, no correlation. Um, you want to make sure that you are familiar with all of these particular topics. And it's not really in depth, just scratching the surface, but just make note of those particular things that you guys have to know. You'll also need to know like basic statistics. So like calculate mean, median, mode, and range. You definitely want to make sure you are familiar with that. You're also going to have to be able to look at tables, charts, and graphs and answer questions um, based on those. When we talk about graphs, you have circle graphs, you have bar graphs, you have histograms, you have scatter plots. Those are really the basic types of graphs you need to be able to understand um, what they represent, when they're best used, and how to actually interpret that information. And the last thing you need to know is basic geometry. So for geometry, you guys have to make sure you understand how to calculate the area and perimeter of basic shapes. They're not going to provide you guys with those formulas. So you want to make sure that you understand how to solve and it could be given in diagram form or it could be given in word problem form. So you want to make sure that you're practicing and you understand how to accomplish that based on basic shapes like squares, rectangles, circles, triangles, parallelograms, everyday objects that most people would know. When I say it felt like I was talking forever, I mean, it kind of, now that I'm looking at it from a student's point of view, it seems like you guys have to know a lot of stuff. I mean, overall, it's only 15 main topics that you guys are expected to know, but it's so much small stuff that falls under it. But I hope I was able to give you guys a clear idea as to what to expect. But my book definitely takes the cake and it puts everything into one particular space. So here you have over 1,700 chances to actually practice the topics. All of the topics topics are grouped together so it's easier for you to learn and retain plus over 250 in-depth video tutorials that walk you through every example as well as some of the practice questions as well so if you are feeling a little overwhelmed with all of the topics I just mentioned which I can see how how that can be run and don't walk to the link below and grab your copy so you can join thousands of students who have aced the math portion of their T's exam using my top rated workbook